Hello everybody, today we're going to be doing a demonstration of yet another free anti-malware program. This one is actually made by Viper. No, not that Viper, the Viper antivirus. Uh, I think they got bought out by some other company. But anyway, we're trying to find some free anti-malware programs that are equivalent to Malwarebytes. We had a bit of a difficult time, but I think Viper may be up there, so let's check it out. So. We do have a nice big folder of malware here, courtesy of malware one, so we thank him for that. And we need to turn those into EXEs, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. And the instructions on the site for Viper say that you should download it in safe mode and run it from there and that is fairly effective so we're just gonna go ahead and run a few of these at random and then try to boot into safe mode and hope it works so let's give it a try and yeah I know there's a way you can run all of these at once but it's just gonna crash everything it's gonna lag the hell out of the computer and kind of defeats the purpose. I mean, you want the computer to actually work, so you have to do just a few at a time. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, okay, I don't know what that's about. Okay. Hmm. Alright. So, we are pretty infected right now, I think. I don't even know. I don't even know. What the hell? Can we run Task Manager? Yes. Okay, so we have quite a bit of stuff running here, so that's good. That's what we wanted. So. As the instructions on the site say, we're just going to go ahead and boot into safe mode. So, now we will do that. And I did say equivalent program to Malwarebytes. It's really not. It really is just a removal program. Whereas programs like Malwarebytes and Super Anti-Spyware, you know, it's kind of like a suite of things. Such as, you know, a lot of scan options, updaters, you know, stuff like that. This is purely a removal program, and I'll show you what I mean once we get our resolution changed, if everything stops popping up in front of me. Okay, perfect. So, to get Viper Rescue, you... Uh, I actually don't know what site it is. Well, we'll search for it. There we go. ViperAntivirus.com slash live and you will download the executable and this may have a different number by the time you go to the site because there is no update function in this program it just scans that's all it does so if you were to run this at a later date after downloading it you would have to download a new copy so that's not that big of a deal but it is kind of annoying especially since the file is huge. 174 megabytes for this is kind of ridiculous. But I can let that slide if it works well. And I hope it does. And I don't think we have any malware running right now, so that's good. And one other thing to mention, full disclosure, this malware folder is a bit old, I will say. Like, a lot of these files are from the 21st of November, and today is the 2nd of December. Time of recording, of course. See you in the future, right? But anyway, uh, plenty of time for a Viper to catch up on definitions, so... I really can't comment too well on how well it's going to pick up these files. If it leaves a bunch behind, I'll be very disappointed. And if it does well, it's really hard to say if you know, how quickly Viper updates their definitions. So, I just wanted to kind of explain that because you may, you know, get a different impression of this program than, say, 
um, either Super Anti Spyware or Spybot. I don't remember which one, but I had samples from like that day, and it barely picked up any of them. So hard to say, hard to say. So yes, 174 megabytes, huge, and we have fast internet. So, well, I mean, we have faster than that. Uh, I'm not sure if it's slowing down because I'm in a VM or if it's because you really can't max out your connection on Viper's website. But yeah, we are getting there slowly. Well, quickly. I don't know. It depends. It depends on how you feel about downloading files. This may be lightning quick to you, and this may be slow as molasses to somebody else, but you know. Kind of a big file, and you can't update it. You have to download a new copy every time. So, that's a bit of a negative. Anyway, you have the executable, then you run it. Then it asks you if you want to extract the rescue scanner to your computer. You'll say yes. Then you get this nice uh, WinZip self-extractor that we've all seen. Extract itself to Viper Rescue at the root. And then it will run the scanner itself, so we'll just go ahead and allow it to do that. And it automatically starts a scan in a command prompt window. And as you can see, it is already going through files. And it appears that it will... Let's see... Okay, so it's copied its definition files, logging, running a scan, scanning for rootkits, processes, registry, and then... Okay, so I suppose it's only scanning the C drive, and I would believe there's some way to set it to scan other drives, if that was your thing. But it will automatically scan your registry right off the bat. And it appears to be finding some things, so that is good. And it appears it will scan, like I said, the entire drive. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and then come back when it's done finding these horrible files. Okay, the scan appears to have completed, and now we have moved on to the removal process, or at least the cleaning slash quarantining process. It says it found 140 threat traces, so we're just going to go ahead and allow it to remove all these files for us, and then I will come back when that's done. Okay, our cleaning process has completed, and well, it says 115 threats were cleaned, and we had 140 found, so maybe I combined some, I'm not sure. And of course, like any good... Uh, malware removal program, it'll want us to restart our computer. So we're just going to go ahead and do that now. And then we shall see how well Viper Rescue did. Okay, we are back into Windows and... What's left? Ah, well, one file. One file left in our folder, so that's better than 99%. So that is promising. However, I kind of want a second opinion, so I'm just going to go ahead and download Malwarebytes and see if anything's left over. So while we're doing that, might as well talk a little bit more about the program. Overall, I have to say, this is a pretty good program for what it is. It is just a removal program. There's not a lot of advanced features. Uh, for example, one of the things that it doesn't do, that I found out before, but it didn't make it in this video, of course, is that if Task Manager is disabled, or Security Center is turned off, or something like that, it won't actually fix that for you as opposed to some antivirus programs and Malwarebytes, of course. So that is a bit annoying. However, I must say that, you know, Viper has a pretty high detection rate, and let's say you had an infected computer and you already ran your antivirus or your anti-malware program, and you wanted a second opinion, I think Viper would be a very good choice because it is dead simple to use and it appears to work fairly well. 
And as a backup second opinion, I think Viper is very good. So right now we are just doing a threat scan. This should finish fairly quickly. Under two minutes, I hope. And yeah, as you can see, one file left over out of 112, I think. So we're doing pretty well. Doesn't appear to be anything malicious running, at least as far as I can tell. Any crazy services? Not really. No, not that I see. Okay. And let's just take a look at the folder that Viper created. So you get your definitions here, you get your quarantine. Quarantine files are all here. Nice. They're XMLs for some reason. I don't know how that works. Oh, maybe the files are up here and those are just the some kind of metadata or some BS like that. I don't really know. 64-bit scanner program, I assume. Or removal program, maybe. I don't know. A CSV, a big CSV. XML file. So yeah, pretty simple. How big is this folder, though? 301 megabytes. Wow. Oh, Malwarebytes is done. What did we find? Not bad at all, because these are actually the logs from Viper, I'm pretty sure. Let me just check and make sure, because I think those are the log files it creates. And I'm not sure why they're being detected. That's under UFR reports. The hell is this? Open. Hmm. Well, maybe this isn't. No. No, this doesn't appear to be the log file at all. This is something else. And, yeah, it looks like it's one of those steam, like, stuff stealers or whatever. Hmm. Well, it almost removed just about everything. I suppose that log file or the whatever from whatever malware we had... It really can't do anything since it's just a bin file, so we can just go ahead and apply actions and it's gone. But other than that, it appears to have removed everything, so I gotta say, once again, Viper Rescue, live, live Viper Rescue, something like that. Anyway, it is pretty good as a second opinion type of program, but... I still feel, even if I used it a lot, even for making videos, I still think Malwarebytes would be a better primary, only because it has a lot more features, it's easier, really, it's easier to uh, use, set up, and use again, because, you know, you can do updates in it, as opposed to downloading a huge file every time you want to run a scan. So... That will be all for Viper Rescue. Thank you all very much for watching, and take care.